Today's devotional is entitled, The One Thing Jesus Doesn't Know. We all know a person that's a know-it-all, that they have something to add to whatever the conversation is to be included, to be heard, or to just simply appear wise to their fellow people. It can seem exhausting when you enter a conversation knowing that this person is going to interject into the conversation, that they're going to give their two cents regardless if you want it or not. And the truth, though, is many times they don't even know what they're talking about, and their credibility goes down the drain every single conversation that comes up. And conversation after conversation, they just get to the point that people don't believe a single thing that they're saying. They just have to be heard, basically. You see, Jesus throughout the gospel speaks on many, many things that make sense and things that didn't necessarily make any sense at the time. And many people think that they have him trapped by what he was saying and that uh, they viewed him as someone who was saying he's the son of God. He should know everything. But as see in Matthew 24, verse 36, He says, but concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the son, but the father only. That they're saying, you are all, I'm not, uh, you should know everything. You're the son of God, right? How do you not know these things? Jesus is being viewed as all powerful, a prophet, a, a person who could do miraculous things, but does not know when God is going to return. That their thoughts of his credibility just start going down. And this sparked conversations that maybe Jesus didn't really know everything, that he just claimed to know everything, but was not the truth. But see, the truth is, Jesus does not know when, when God plans to return. But this doesn't put a wrinkle into who Jesus is. This doesn't put a chink in his armor. It just simply states exactly that. Only God knows. The conversations have been made. Well, if God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are one, they should know the same things, correct? Well, we see when Jesus came down to earth, he came down as fully man and as fully God. He took on the appearance of man, rejecting the nature of God on this earth. And he did maintain the things that God is able to do, but as a man, he gave them up on his own free will. And we see in Philippians chapter two, verses five through eight, says, have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even a death on the cross. You see, Jesus could easily have just gone through this life fully God, To be a king on this earth and things would have been completely, completely different. So Jesus stating that he doesn't know the hour of God's return is the truth. You see, when Jesus became man, he gave up his attributes as a submission, as a form of submission to the father. And we see in a couple different verses, uh, chapter, uh, John chapter five, verse 30, he says, I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. We also see in John chapter 6, verse 38, For I have come down from heaven not to do my own, but the will of him who sent me. And then we also see in John chapter 8, verses 28 and 29, So Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he and I do not and I do nothing on my own authority but speak just as the father taught me and he who sent me is with me he has not left me alone for I always do the things that are pleasing to him see here Jesus is saying that he didn't come of his own will but he came of the will of the father that he doesn't do anything of his own will but it's for the father the submission of Jesus to God as man is why Jesus said he does not know the hour of his return. That yes, he was fully God and fully man, but he, in an act of submission to the Father, gave up the attributes that allowed him to know these things. You see, it's easy to make the argument, well, Jesus is beneath God, and as a human, he was. When we look at the Holy Trinity, God, the Father, Jesus, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are equal in heaven. 
Jesus didn't claim to know it all, to show off his abilities to skate through this life easy and carefree. He came to earth to redeem man from our sins. God knew this was the only way that we could ever be saved from the mistakes and sins of our lives. God sent his only son to be fully human, to live a fully human life full of joy and love, but pain and suffering as well. The same things that you and I go through on a daily basis, Jesus lived those moments. But the difference is, Jesus did it perfectly. He gave his life not only for me, but he gave it for you as well. Our name are on his scars as he died that horrible death on the cross. And we see in Matthew chapter 26, verse 53, do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? This was Jesus saying that this is not my will. And at any given moment, God could send 12 legions of angels to wipe us all out. But God said, no. God knew that the only way to redeem us was through the death of his son. You see, Jesus does not know the time of the return, but it will happen. So you have to prepare yourselves, your family, your household. And how do you do that? By believing in Jesus. And we see in Revelation chapter one, verse seven, he says, behold, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth will wail on the account of him. Even so, amen. You see, Jesus did know everything, but he does not know the time in which God is going to send him back. And many, many times people will have that conversation. Well, he is not as all powerful and all knowing as he is. But Jesus was fully God and fully man. And his submission to God is why he does not know the return. That is our devotional for today. The one thing Jesus doesn't know.